So at Wing, we build automated delivery drones to go and move packages around the world. One of the most critical elements of that whole system is the delivery of the packages. That's like the whole point of the service. That's the point of building the drones. That's the point of making lots and lots of drones and flying them all around the world is to go and bring boxes to people. And that last element of bringing the box to the person is what they associate with drone delivery. That experience is something that we designed our whole aircraft around. So early on at wing, we had an airplane that, that took off and landed vertically and then tilted over sideways to go and fly like a plane. And if you could imagine having a coffee cup in there, as soon as you tilt it over sideways, all that coffee would spill out. So even the configuration of our airplane was chosen to help facilitate the package delivery, to keep the package in the same orientation, to not put unnecessary forces on it or have it shake around in flight. Once it gets to the delivery zone, once it gets to where the customer is that they wanted the goods, we have to get the package from the airplane down to the ground. If you're talking about food or you're talking about fragile goods or you know, a lot of things that you would order online, you don't just want to drop it from the airplane, like you want to gently lower it to the ground. That's one of the underlying elements of our whole system is that delivery action. So our airplanes fly around a few hundred feet above the ground and once they get to the point where they're going to deliver the package, they transition from cruise flight into hovering flight. So they go from an airplane to a helicopter. They descend down to about 20 feet above the ground and we pick 20 feet because that's above most obstructions that you would see on the ground. It's at a point where the environment is still relatively uncluttered. It's also not on the ground where you have dogs and kids and squirrels that could run and get to the plane. And then a system on board the aircraft that has a little winch motor and a string that we call a tether and a little hook at the bottom that we call a pill. That lets go and slowly unwinds the package until it's gently on the ground. And there's a bunch of sensing on board that winch motor that can tell how fast the package is being lowered, whether or not it's encountering any resistance, whether or not it's lowering at the speed that it expected, whether or not it's lowering the distance it expected, if it's reeled out enough of the line. And all of that is made so that the package touches down on the ground softly and repeatedly every time. That tether inside the airplane is not actually tied to anything. Inside the plane, there's a little motor with a spool on it, and there's about 30 feet of tether line attached to that spool. If the box were to get caught on something, or somebody were to grab the box, or the hook as it was going back were to get stuck on a tree, the winch motor inside the aircraft can sense that load, so it can tell that the tether is stuck on something, and it will just release the tension on that tether, and the aircraft will climb away. Since the tether isn't actually physically attached to anything, it's just spooled around that spool. Once it gets to the full length, it'll just let go and it'll leave the tether behind. We typically do a lot of testing of this system and you'll see sort of mountains of packages. You'll see the sort of delivery accuracy as such is that you deliver a package on top of package on top of package until you go and there's a big cone of packages sitting there. Then that reliability allows us to drop off boxes in relatively small spaces and it allows us to do it in a safe, repeatable, reliable way. In this space, we've taken this approach because we think it's the most reliable, most repeatable, and best experience that a customer can have in getting goods delivered by a drone. The package gets dropped off in a very precise and gentle way. The goods that are inside are in the same condition that they were prepared in at the restaurant or at the store. It's as though somebody came and dropped off the package by hand. It really is a relatively seamless and enjoyable delivery experience.